Hi everybody, it's Danny here from Angel Handmade Paper Craft. Today I am using a digital stamp from Whimsy Stamps. This is Ahoy Matey. Uh, this, like I said, is a digital stamp, so I've got it printed out onto some Expressive Blending card, and I'm using my Copic markers to colour him up. I have had made a few of these cards um, this month. I absolutely adore this image. Um, so super excited to show you a few different ways that this image can be used. Um, and I had so much fun coloring it up. So I'm super excited to share that with you. And let's get going. So um, I'm using quite a few Copic markers on this image. I will have all of them listed on my blog. If you're interested, you can go and check those out. I will also have a full product list used on this card. You can also check out the link for this image on the YouTube channel just below the video here. Um, and you'll be able to go straight from there to the image and download it. Uh, at this time of doing this voiceover the image is not live yet so um, if I don't have the direct link there you can just hit the uh, whimsy stamp shop link um, and then just uh, go to the digital stamps drop down to the May release and you'll be able to download him there as well as all of the other new release images um, I will be at work at the time of this image going live so hopefully I can get on there in my break and fix this up and have the direct image there so i am giving him a little black pirate hat i thought that would be super cute i do have a little boy card in mind for this one um, but he can be you can color it up to be a girl just changing the colors up etc um, but i did want to make a little boy blue card so i've got my papers already picked out i'm using papers from the um Crate Paper Little Boy Blue Collection, um, and that's where all of my inspiration for the colouring came from. So I'm giving him a little blue and yellow towel there to make sure that I'm pulling in the colours of the papers that I'm wanting to use. I will show those to you once I've got the image all coloured up. Giving him some little brown cowboy boots. Or pirate boots. I didn't want to give him black, I wanted to add some extra colours in, so... We went with a brown. So we are almost finished coloring up the image and then we'll move on to the card making. I'll show you a few photos of the, Im of the image all colored up um, and a photo of all the Copic markers. Here we go. Quite a lot of markers used. Uh, there is some there that I didn't use much of, but they were all used on the card. So this is the very last of this paper pad. So as you can see, I'm scratching through, trying to find a few little different pieces to add to my card. I love this little D for duck. So I thought that would be adorable to trim down and add to the card. And it matches up with the little duck that's sitting on top of his head. So super cute. The sentiments are from the Tailored Expressions uh, Simple Strips. I've inked them using ink on three embossing ink, uh, super fine white embossing powder from Ranger Ink, and then melted the embossing powder using my heat gun. I'm using some liquid adhesive from Helma. This is the Acid Free. I'm battering up a few bits and pieces just using my EK Success Cutter B scissors love the way that this card turned out it was very simple not a lot of layers lots of scrap bits and pieces that's always fun so just layering these up i did bring in a doily as well showing you that you can use doilies on boys cards too and then we're going to start adhering everything to the creature creations card base and that will be the card pretty much done. So I do decorate the inside of the card as well, just using some leftovers of those patterned papers. So here I am having a look through, trying to work out what I can do for the inside. Going with these little uh, blue and red spots. Adding in some browns to blend in the brown from the front of the part, from the card and adding in my white square to write on. So this is my process of finishing my cards. I've got labels for the back of my cards and labels for my cello bags. And this is the card all complete. So I thank you all for watching and I hope you are enjoying the new release from Whimsy Stamps for May 2020. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.